Hello, hello, Tito. We're back again. Oh, I just forgot to change the title of the uh, of the show. Welcome to Wild Nine's uh, Salty Saturday. Um, he was unable to make it this week, um, but yeah, here we are, Salty Saturday. And yes, we do have Legacy Finals Finals uh, being played. Uh, this will be the third match out of that series. Um, you're going to see a bouldering buddy friend. Or I'm your bouldering buddy, not your bouldering buddy. Wow, I got to get my story straight here. So I'm not your bouldering buddy friend. Is up nine to six over uh, HS Legacy team. Um, with Yo Daddy uh, going up against uh, Neverland, as you can see on the uh, display. So if Yo Daddy ends up winning, then that means... Uh, BBF is going to be uh, taking taking the Legacy Championship. So, um, unless uh, Neverland gets a couple more points, but I think uh, if it's a 3-0 washout, that's, my math is bad, so just uh, take that with a grain of salt. But <laughs> anyway, we do have bands. Um, just going to talk to the players for a quick sec. Want to go over the... Uh, the uh, classes right now. So Yo Daddy bringing um, uh, DK, uh, Mage, and Shaman, and Warlock. Um, I believe. Yeah, Neverland banned the Mage for Yo Daddy, so he can't use that. Um, just going to mark that down right now while I have it. And then Neverland is bringing uh, DK Druid. Priest and Shaman, to which Yo Daddy said, I'm sorry, you can't bring that Shaman. Now that we know that, um, not sure what the matchups are going to be, but uh, hopefully it's not a an XL Fiesta. Um, but we'll, we'll see. So it's definitely not a complete mirror match. Um, and I think... Sorry, I think uh, the players are ready so we can jump in anytime. So those of you who are able to join on a Saturday night, thank you for that. And uh, we'll get the players going here. I'll just tell them to, uh, to suit up and then you'll hear me blather on about the stuff. So, okay, a half moment. All right, I'll just let the players know that they could start. So Neverland's going to be at the bottom of the screen for Suspectate for me, with uh, Yo Daddy being at the top. Um, let's see. Waiting for some eyeballs. I'm going to guess, probably going to bust out Druid for Neverland and maybe Shaman for uh, Yo Daddy. Uh, see, see what they tend to lean on when they have a great opener, so... This is conquest uh, format, race to race to five. So, oh, it's a DK versus shaman. I am energy made manifest. So, oh, will serve me in death. Haven't seen this K yet, and Yodadi bringing shaman, which I haven't flipped over yet. So Yo Daddy looks like he has um, Rainbow Shaman, I think, with the Grofin in hand. So we do have a, a Renathal XL series. Extra large. I'm not really familiar with the, uh, the decks, but we'll just see that the players are seeing a one-cost card th play a one-cost card. Yo Daddy with simple hero power. Some easy moves. Mining casualties coming down. Um, does Yo Daddy blast this? No. Okay. Just gonna hit the two death rattles. And be done with it. So, another mining casualties comes down or... Nope. The Baron 
and Buccaneer is going to be a, a good one for next turn. So, don't know if I would have hit that, but maybe maybe would have went face, but they're smarter players than I am, so. <laughs> Look at that. Just nothing but hero powers. Catch of the day coming out. Which just enables some rush ability. There we go. Wow. Okay. Zombie tank. A combination buccaneer and zombie tank. That would be pretty pretty disturbing boy to board to face. Neverland taking a moment to figure out what they want to do in their following turns. No need to bring the seamstress out. Geist is... Eyes on the horizon. Okay. It's good to... Mining casualties plus the uh, buccaneer to kind of keep the board a little bit fresh. Death roll. In hand... Up up book also came in. Yo daddy doing a bunch of hero powering and pop up book to take care of the uh Death Rattle Minion. And that does not does not uh There we go. I'd almost want to slam that down after I, yeah. Geist coming down, okay. Sickly might be okay. Sylvanas might not. Screaming Banshee is, no. Could be sickly, could be screaming. Could be mean it is. One to face. <laughs> Here comes a lovely shadow block. Shadow block. Shutter block. Okay. Dark horn. Dark thorn quilter. Headless horseman come down right now? Well, you have men or. You're on curve. Uh, bless all his, uh, ends up going the uh, spindle stone doing a two plus two to all his, uh, undeads. That's what he ends up doing. The Geist. Terrible chef, maybe? No. Uh, okay. Dr. Stitch it is. Stitch and so. If you play a death rattle, give her... Okay. Sidious. Gonna have uh, 10 cards. Get it put into the hand. Thanks to the repeat shutter block. Three, jeez. Missed a... another shutter block coming down. Okay. Blood tap. Give all minions in your hand. Headless could come down to get rid of that 210. Does have the ability to use the coin and use the 
hero power if you wanted to. Blood tap. Everything else going downtown. There it is. One eruption. Two eruptions. Ah, ah. Take care of the board. Being threatening. Big growth in. Oof. Yikes. Staring at uh, 32 right now. What we got for the uh, snatching guys? Okay. Got some big snatching guys, but playing one of them uh, when you're looking at a board of 32 is. Not a good feeling, so. Sitch and so. Mm, destroy a friendly minion, maybe? And Zephyrs, maybe? Unless these get played on the board, I forget how that card plays, so. I'll get splashed on the board. Okay. So put some heavy, heavy taunts in the way. And do we have a clear? It's a possibility for the taunts. Yes. You know, having a, a bloodlust would be pretty cool, but I don't think. Well, maybe even a death roll. Lightning. Yeah, death roll on the 7-7. Seven, seven. Take care of business. Oh. No sense. It uh, left them short. So. Forced to uh, bump into these. 8-8 eight, eight having to bump into that. Maybe not. Nope. Downtown. And quilted boar or the uh, dark thorn quilter might come down. Can uh can get the uh, seamstress to gain some health back, but. Take care of eight eights. You could use a trim. You could use a trim. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Bloodlust gets them out of range. So C16 plus three each. So that's not enough. Just out of range. Gonna do it anyway. Or am I not seeing any? Oh, okay. X is good. Turbulus maybe come down. Orc and downtown again oh the taunts or taunts yeah so I made a mistake on saying it was XL DK so pardon me <laughs> since there's a lot of devils in, in hand it's not obviously XL so Renthal sure sure all right Some hefty taunts in the way Ooh. Uh, Timely back. Reno. It's against me. And that's going to hurt a little bit. Snake oil not going to do it, but trade it in, see what you get. 
Death Growl, not going to help. So you're just staring down lethal, unfortunately. Don't know what uh Oh, sorry, that was mistaken. Wow. <laughs> I didn't think the hero power was doing three. I thought it was doing two, so my bad. So does he have lethal now? Am I silly? Nine exacties. Hey, I wasn't totally wrong, but it wasn't totally right either. So, okay, yo, daddy, as predicted, a turn ago wins round one. Okay, yo, daddy's uh, death for night gone, or uh, sorry, shaman winning. Um. Maybe it's going to be a death knight, knowing he knows what the what Neverland has in hand, just to kind of see if it's a mirror match. I'm not sure. All right, game two, starting. The Lich King. This is the Lich King. Oh, will serve. As predicted. Oh, wow. Okay. There can only be one. True king. Big full mulligan on Yo Daddy's side, and I think it was keeping the seamstress for Neverland. So f double Renthal, Renthal uh, decks for the group. Not a good turn for Yo Daddy. Easy turn for Neverland. Too bad we didn't have a, uh, a taunt, or not a taunt, but a you copied me kind of deal. Emote. Buccaneer coming down with the salesman. Double hit to uh, keep things even. And no daddy with no board. Greyhound Handler could do some good stuff. Uh, Red of Despair is always good too, but nothing to really throw it on right now. Unless you use the coin, which I think is uh, not a good idea. Handler. Handling things. Ooh. Seamstress could come down. Nope. Any Zombie tank. Seamstress might be okay. You can get a double reap. No, because it didn't have a death death rattle on it. But uh, he says reborn. But it optioning for the uh, the zombie tank and maybe a maybe a hero power. Take care of that one one. Yeah. I have but little time. Go to the. Opposite portrait, uh, Hella could come down. Daddy likes buttons. Oh, Daddy likes buttons. Hold that. Uh, what is it? Dreadhound. Going to snake oil. No, oh, weapon. Okay. And you get the quartz crusher. Yeah. There you go. Automatic. Uh, Nexus. I haven't seen this played yet, but 
those of you who have uh, logged into Hearthstone recently would get that for being a Hearthstone player. Nothing going downtown still. Alright, double magna. And just to clear the hand out. Zero important damage to that 2 1. So, the buffs coming on to the, uh, the hand for uh, Neverland. Could continue that trend with the 2 1 bumping into the 4 2. Decides to trade for a salesman. What's the five? Yeah. Bump. Maybe that gets it and didn't. I will tend to you personally. entertaining. There you go. Oh, no daddy gonna be staring at a nine nine taunt. Spell burst. And and Big horseman in hand. I think that just came in out of the blue or top deck, as the terminology is. You ruined, you sank my battleship, Neverland said. You took the sneak oil right out of it. Seamstress is, uh, Pretty okay. The big big minion on board. One of those subs Here goes Haku. Pulsing pumpkins for three damage. Alright. Big hand for, for Yo Daddy. What does he got? Got uh the Dazzler's got fire and shadow spells in it. The core coming down? Yeah. Really not much healing happening on the other side. I guess that's pretty good. Uh, Yodler. Hound seems good. Take care of the two minions with one hit. Followed by the zombie tank. Heals to infinity. Alright. Yo daddy getting frost strike. Lon Pa would be alright. Quartz Crusher. Looking at uh, 22 on the board with 31 health. Razzle of Dazzle coming down with the three three spells, the Fire, Frost, and Shadow. Reds of Despair, Marin, yeah, another Frosty Decor. The option with a Pumpkin to the Ten Dome. All right. Yodler is going to buff the hand twice. Very nice. Another two for one. Twelve more coming down. Yo Daddy is starting to look Look at options to try and get rid of this board. So only one charge left in that drink. Doesn't really do much, but does it get it down to something manageable? Puts magma with rents of despair, maybe. And does what? 
Okay. Uh, okay, that's good too. Um, cultists would be good since it's the finale. But you'd lose your... Yeah. Other punch. Those 10-10s don't look good. Quartz Crusher, yep. Any buffs? What are we looking for? Draw a card with the... the taunt. Neverland, uh, looking to close this, close this off. 21 coming down. All right. Looks pretty grim. I think Neverland, if chat can help me out, is the, uh, PK and buff and guff uh, type. So <laughs> finally clued in. Woo Hard decision for Yo Daddy right now. Staring down. What is it? I got three? Yeah, so both both ten tens have three. How do you get rid of that seven seven? And we're just gonna keep chiming, turning uh, minions into. What do we got? Ping net. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Almost made it. Almost made it. There we go. We are tied. 1-1. One, one. There you go. So DK win for Neverland. Way to go on that one. So we got uh, Yo Daddy with their DK and Warlock left. Versus Neverland's Druid and Priest. Um, Renathal for all of them? Of course. Let's just say for giggles and, and poops, it's, uh, it's going to be Renathal for all. Now, if you're Neverland, are you bringing out the Priest? Does the Priest do anything uh, against DK? I don't even know what priest would be if it's got Renathal in it. I've never seen. I'm just going to double check the uh, THL website to see what the pros brought. They ever brought the priest to, to battle. Let's see that. We do have Warlock going up against Priest. Okay. So your standard overheal. Oh, I'll call it. Presenting standard overheal, keeping the hidden gem is the smart decision, and your insanity warlock there for Yo Daddy. A couple of wonderful cards in Yo Daddy's hand with the putrid and the crescendo, and the fan club coming down, and hidden gem will be coming down next turn for Neverland. So let's just see what the stats are for that. Sanity Warlock versus... Good priest. According to HSR, you're looking at the Priest winning at 52% at Diamond to Legend. These are Legend players. So. Let's just see if that state's changed. Yeah, it's, just, it's almost a 50-50 matchup, so... Okay. 
nice easy hand for Neverland, but it's going to disappear if he starts throwing the, uh... And now, oh. the premiere act! Me! The wonderful fatigue counter is started. Shendo coming down to make sure that that gem doesn't stick around. And that pupil is ready. So, what a good way to rock and roll. 21 damage left, or 21 heal health left there for Neverland. Another hidden gem. And what are we looking for? Pip. Uh, injured holler. Okay. That will help get rid of the board, but can't play it right now. So, another crescendo coming down, and then another seven, sorry, s math is bad, nine, three, three, yep, down to 11 points, is the holler going to be too late? Yo, daddy's kind of find a new gig. Night sings and the impure fall. There's Amethul in hand. He turns away. Job done. There we go. Clear that board. Make you feel safe, but. Oh, yo, daddy's. It's tempting. I think the correct play is the... Well, I don't know what the correct play is. <laughs> the tentacle and the salesman seem pretty good. And then playing the pupil this turn. Get yourself a crescendo and... Then Popgar. Go crazy next turn. Big decision. So you gonna uh, do insanity twice? Gonna have five. Yeah. He's gonna do it. Okay. So six. Gonna have a crescendo that's gonna take care of business, I think. So flash heal in hand. Don't think is gonna save him for but it's only one crescendo. It's at what? Sorry. Six. What? Oh, if only Neverland had damage. <laughs> hmm. At least six. Anything drawing? Protocol. Uh, good protocol with the uh, the hauler. I think. Hmm. Origin protocol. Nope. <laughs> Oh, Hadonis is there. I could do it next turn. Vulgin to swap with the 1-3. Oh. There we go. Interesting. Oh, daddy gonna find a crescendo. Worse. Pop car. Some crescendo. 24 heal takes care of the board. Amethul. Soak up that pop car. Get rid of those two minions, I should say. So I think maybe Neverland turned the corner. Oh. 
Katrina Muerte might be a good choice, possibly. No, it's for Raza. Eat the imp. Hard to eat anything when you don't have anything on the board. Yo, daddy's a. Trying to see what else you can get. The virtuoso in hand. Okay. The symphony of darkness. And now the premiere act. Me. All right, big nine nine on board. Hadonis and the what's it called? The copy? Oh, that's a that's a legendary, so you can't do that. I so do it on the hauler. Hauler really wants a Hadonis. I need to find a new gig. Holler and Hadan is coming down. Maybe. Gotta figure out that 9 9. Find a taunt, find a taunt. Oh, hey, there you go. Get some heal in. Okay. Barrel of sludge, is that worth it? Get a gamble, which uh, is going to go after the 3 3 first. So, smart move by Neverland healing that uh, Hollow Hound. Throw the tentacle down. See if it hits the 3 4 uh, with health. But really not going to get you where much. Very good. Why am I short one man, one damage every time? <laughs> Oh, the choice for yo daddy. Do you hit the M almond throw or yeah. Raza is gonna take care of uh Yeah, just uh, take, a good take care of that nine six, get the two two. Throw hood on us there. The shadows. Fake fan. Together in harmony. Saint Cazel or Tyrion would be all right, but Saint Cazel seems good. Trog. A lot of stats on board for Trog. Gem Tosser gets gonna sniff. Or it could be the Hearthstone Gods. Just How do you get rid of eight? Or sorry. Uh five. Uh, time pool pupil is two away from being online. 
Saw the yellow around the gem tosser, so where are we going? To the face. And that is a rise. Okay. Game three. Game three to Neverland. Have only their druid try and push through either death, death knight or the insanity warlock as we've seen. Right back into it. Sandy Warlock coming out, and what do we have for Forest fights back. XL or Renathal Druid with the, as we see the Riastrazo, which are gonna go back in the pile. Possibly swipe. Welp is gonna stick around. Yo, yo daddies did the same with their three. I didn't see it right away, so oh. Okay. Ah, ah, I see you. Dark Panther. <laughs> Renathal it is. Harp. Being played. Virtuoso, okay. Pointing a two. Point a tentacle could be a, a move as well, but going with the Virtuoso. Riestraza. Easy, easy boop. Geode. Top car. All right. No, um, Innervate, uh, gonna be used to get the wild growth, maybe? Maybe? Be hero power and looking hard at uh, yeah. Innervate and Park Panther. That's what's gonna happen. All right. Tent tentacle coming down. Salesman as well. Traveler being played, I would think. B. Stop and smell the flowers. All right. Two pulls three away, so it's a the lot of is upon us. no fatigue. Well, now double hits here. You see a wild growth now. Swipey, swipe it is four and one. A little bit cleaner. One to the face. Race conductor coming at you again. No tracking. Uh, eat the imp. Yep. The is upon us. Take some damage. Oh, big zilly comes out. Two turns away from getting that uh, seedling active. Gonna rip it now, anyway. Flower child. Okay. Take care of that three one. So I haven't seen a crescendo is what Yo Daddy is kind of wants. Let me get the ball rolling. Ooh, fizzle. Fizzle or insanity or baritone imp is probably the least out of the three. Wow, hard choice. Hard choice indeed, but you're going up against Druid, so. Almost a 
Picking the insanity. Healing and taking hits. Going downhill with the uh, with the imps and friends. Pupil is ready to go. You can see a Marin come down or a Zilly. Relaxation for all. Marin, the wand. Saying, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. People doing another encroaching? Yep, yeah. okay. Encroaching. Yeah. Imp. Draw three more cards so you can get a. a uh, there, there's what we're looking for. Five. Downhill with it. No real heal, but there is some protection. Well, sorry, the heal is the Zilly. So. Gaining 12 back. Lifting 6. Does Yo Daddy have the ability to come back? Can't do the the math menu, so slaps pop card down. Okay, so it's going to activate the pupil once more with one left. Does it have another pupil in hand or no? Okay. Note seven, eight, so that's fifteen. Down to one. Heal for a billion. And seals the deal. There it is. Did not do my math. So. <laughs> All right. It's 2-2. Two -two. It's THL's favorite words in all of Hearthstone, which is... Game five. All right. So we're going to have the Renathal uh, DK going up against the Renathal Druid. Don't know what the stats are, but let's let's see if chat is smarter than I am, which they 100% are. Okie dokie, game five, folks. Two two. For all the marbles between the two. Will Yo Daddy pull in with the win? Keep it, uh, or Neverland get the, uh, so what's that? 12 for, sorry, 13 for if Yo Daddy wins. HS Legacy goes up. 12 to, to 10 to 12. Oh. It'll be close. Let's tune in. Everybody got to see those um, mulligans. Kind of a lumpy hand there for, for Neverland. And the Yo Daddy's got a little bit of lower curve. So, Avatar of the Hearthstone. So, that's interesting. I just got that today, so... <laughs> if it ever gets played this match, I will laugh. So, Jack can let us know if it's OP or not. So, pretty, pretty simple moves here. So, coining... Trail mix used. 
So what does that get us? The five. The uh, dragon. One of the dragons out. Stay alert, my children. Stay Ooh. Okay. Maybe the plan was to. No dragon. In, uh, did have a dragon in hand, but. Don't know if that was the plan. I think maybe it was dozing dragon. Maybe that was supposed to come out, but because of the mana was not up to speed. It will be now though. Okay. Primus in hand and Elsa. Or Liza, sorry. There comes the dragon. Next turn, no biggie. All right. Seamstress might be okay. Frost strike, do anything. You could use a trim. Use a Here we go. Uh, Shredder? No. Yeah, deal damage, excavate, probably the best. So. Opted for a freebooter. What does freebooter do? Oh, okay. Silly me. Cactus Construct. Nope, gonna rip the ETC, which I, we don't know what's in the box, per se. To find out pilot new heights in crystal cluster deciding to tank the four one three fives keep coming out another two more turns another frost strike Board. Park Panther coming out again, maybe. Mind control tech. Flash and be back to wonderful days of Hearthstone of old. Welcome to the crew. Cluster coming down. Go. Sneak oil to trade. Are we doing the manipulator now? Corpse Bride. Chronic Explosion is going to be a a uh, fun thing to see if uh goes to turn 10. So that's six. Corpse Bride. Death do us part. Another Crystal Cluster. Too much. AR is probably not a good pick here. Yo daddy kind of toe tapping around the uh, mind control tech, maybe. Yes. Can't hit, so AR might come down here. Rush the mana, but what does that get you afterwards?
Traveler and Pink Park Panther and Recruiter, maybe? Oh, well, A and R coming down. Get a 5 5 taunt at least. Our shamanic crystals do the cluster, get another taunt. And the Park Panther coming, coming. No, can't come down. Roma. Okay. All right. Primus. The Suck up that uh, Aener. And Scorch Crusher, maybe? Four three. Is it really gonna do anything? Or are you just gonna keep it behind a wall? Yeah, see, yo daddy knows the force is strong with the yo daddy right now. <laughs> Using his cat, his his uh content um, abilities there for doing the shows with the bone masher. I'm kidding, of course. All right. Back on track. Yeah. Constellations. Drawing cards here, or are we drawing, doing mana for the first round? I don't think you're worried about health, or you don't feel you're worried about health right now. First two cards, so you, the rest is going to be mana. Baron, what do you got for cards? So, Wonders Wand, and then take care of business. Alright. Frosty decor. No, we're gonna see a card. What are we doing here? That was wild. My bone is killing it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> surprise, surprise. What do we got here? Three on spells. That one is an easy one. Frost. Mark. A a morseless winter. winter would be good. Think anything else is gonna fit? And then yeah, there you go. There you go. DK put in work. Oh, instantly getting some some wonderful. Oh, there's where. Mind control tech comes in. Does it automatically take? Or you can take the, uh, what do you want to take? The 816? Or the, the, uh, delicacy, draconic That's... delicacy. It has nine cards in hand. Locator. Sorry about the cards not being viewed, viewable. Symbol but too late. Time grows short. What to do, what to do. Trog coming down. See if we can mess up the board a little bit. It does. Horseless Winter are gonna kick some butt. And magma. And then more magma. And then casualties for sure. Prince Renathal. Do we see a Yog come out? Oh, Yogg. 
Or did I miss Yogg? Uh, Yogg was in the other game, so. Interesting to have a Helia. Through it, but. Get some heal. Into it. That 7 4 is annoying as heck. You can only get one damage at a time, so. We have his own. His own Zilly X. Zilly for Zilly. Just answer for answer. 712 is not gonna. There's Yogg. So Yogg's gonna bonk some heads. If he wants to put it down, but I don't know if it's. It's gonna be interesting. Yogg is just basically going all in. <laughs> what do we have for damage? Okay. Seven. It's not a lot of souls being. Reaped. But I think Yogg's the play. Well, take control. That's cool. That's cool. That's in one option. And ooh, that is bad. It's a little bit of unluckiness if having Fizzle in hand. Good for Neverland. One damage. Ew. Time to chip away. Orch Crusher. Take care of the fizzle. Get the manipulator down, okay. Cool. Funnel cake. Tell him DK to earn an eternity of torment. Got your hell yeah. All right, Zephyrus coming down, splish splash. Goblet. Maybe looking for that uh, crown. <laughs> Have you filled out the paperwork? Battlefield or hero? Hero seems not the right one. Okay, Battlefield it is. And only getting one card. Yuck. And smell the flowers. Okay. What do we got? Nine? Close. You could use a trim. The damage for to poke the face. Seven downtown. There's a five. Oh, does he have lo lethal now? Two and. Making it very difficult. So we got on the board. Here we got 15 on board, 47. Looking at 47, so it's... I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. But I think with Yo Daddy splashing at 10 on the board, that Necrotic explosion. You could use a trim. Is there any healing cards in the hand? No. Unfortunately. Can't attack. That's unfortunate. Can you? Funnel oh, cake. Not gonna do anything because everything's damaged. Well, to heal the. I'm gonna how about... Here we go.
This, I think, was the game changer right now. The Dracona, Dracona Draconic Delicacy. Finally getting it off the board. And Reno. And Rhea Strauss are coming, coming out to play. So This is going to be lethal coming back the other way. With 9 damage with only 8 health. All the way to the top. And there you have it. Calculations are in. The card is played. And we have a winner in Yo Daddy. Congrats to Yo Daddy. Uh, and also thanks to, uh, thanks to Neverland for uh, getting on stream. It was super close. I had no idea who was going to win. Chat did. Chat is very good at that. So if my calculations are correct, so that's going to be uh, 13, 13 for, for uh, BBF and other two points, so that's eight. Is it possible? Eight and 12? No, I don't think it's possible now. I think it's over. But we'll let you guys do the, uh, the math. So I'll see if uh, Yo Daddy's available for a chat. See what happens here. Love seeing close matches like that. Like everybody in THL, obviously, I enjoy going to game fives. It's fun and exciting, and of course, contact content loves it. Uh, All right, I'm just gonna shut down the Hearthstone real quick. Ooh, so just waiting for Yo Daddy to chime in. So, well, chiming in. Just wanted to update the standings for Pro Series right now. We still got two games left. Um, F2L is trailing right now behind Brushy Tuna 65 with uh, three games left to play. Hitachi got defeated by uh, McBanterface and Heat Shock fell to uh, Marty B. So the games left to play are Ron Mexico and Agent PWE, which could take place tomorrow night uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you got F. Sirachi going up against Dabs and then Sunk uh, versus Ray Bobson. So, Yo Daddy's able to chat. So, let's see what he says. Classic Discord ring. How you doing, Yo Daddy? You relieved now? Yeah. It was a crisis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a frantic series. Um, Neverland coming back, uh, going up two games to one. And uh, he did some work with that Warlock. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was that was a tough find. I think there was an easier way um, if I like, put the second crescendo into the um, Naga. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it worked out in the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just see a... Uh, you know, uh, hovering over the cards, trying to do the, the math and making sure that everything worked well. So it's, uh, I guess, uh, tell us, uh, tell us, tell the uh, viewers out there how you, you prepped for the match. What made um, you decide for the ban? Uh, the arena fell, got released, and it was busted last time. So I put it in <laughs> pretty much all my decks, apart from Insanity, because it's making a sense there. And I knew the match would go on for like at least an hour. It did. <laughs> Um, yeah, more cards, more better. We like that. We like that, so... Um, uh, yeah. And then, I know, I looked through the stats and Shaman seemed pretty flexible. I think, like, all its decks were pretty good, so I just banned that. Um, just trying to see... Because there was two two decks that you guys each brought, and both didn't have Renthal in them, so I was confused at the beginning because I... Kind of stopped playing Hearthstone for a quick sec. So when Renathal 
first got released, it's like, are these XL Ren Reno decks? No. Then the Renathal came on the screen and I was educated at that point. So, but yeah, his priest being overhill priest. Um, you weren't really shocked on that one. I, I know there's been, um, talk of the, uh, the other priest that's out there. I'm trying to remember what it was offhand. The, the dragon priest. Serena? Yeah. Dragon? Uh, no, Serena. Yeah, yeah, the, the Remy. The um, yeah. Uh, I brought Warlock, and Pain Warlock is really, really good into Serena and mm -hmm. really, really bad into Overheal, so I was expecting Overheal. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I tried to go for like the tempo win against the Overheal, but then of course they had the Hauler. Yeah. To <laughs> get back. Um, yeah. Yeah. Who who helps you uh, get prepped and ready to go for for games on your team? Uh, Kira has been really nice, like getting lots lots of stats and matchup spreads throughout the entire season for pretty much the entire team. So mm -hmm. big thanks to them for captaining our team. And I think does this seal the win for the season? Well, my math is not very good, but with you with the four points on nine, so it makes it thirteen, and. Um... Neverland only getting two, so it turns into eight. So even if Kronos um, wins 3-0, that makes him short a point to 12. Uh-huh. Nice. So. Yeah. There. Easy. The, is that their entire team on their season? Yeah. Especially to Tom, who was our captain last season, and then left us, and then <laughs> lost to us in the finals. Pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, Kira, Kira is also your uh, your duo's partner, right? So, uh, so some yeah, we didn't make the finals in duos, but we got one win, so that's good enough. Yep, exactly, exactly. So, what time is it over there for you right now? Uh, noon. Noon Just time. About to go okay. eat lunch. There you go. So you can have a celebratory championship lunch. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Anything else you want to say before we uh, let you go get some lunch? No. Nah, thanks for hosting all these uh, THL matches. Um, yeah, and congrats to my entire team for getting this championship. Yeah. Perfect. Well, enjoy your day. and You too. Okay. Take care. Well, all right. That says it all. So I want to thank uh, Yo Daddy and Neverland again for, for playing on stream. Um, it was a joy to, to cast. Um, hopefully I didn't blow it too much, but uh, just trying to get the uh, content on THL is my concern. So I want to thank everybody else, uh, the 10 viewers that joined us at this point in time, um, for joining us and watching the, the wonderful Renathal decks get played, except for the two. Um, it will be uploaded to YouTube a little bit later. Um, and a little bit of an announcement with regards to uh, matches for tomorrow night. Uh, I believe it's going to be Walker Man and myself. We're going to be um, broadcasting a pro series match, as I mentioned earlier, with Ron Mexico going up against Agent PWE, unless uh, the other two matches kind of decide it for him. Um, but the, that's going to be at 9 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time. And at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, there's going to be a duos match between um, the where are we? Uh, Staring at Burroughs Volume 1. So that's Nice Jewish Owl and uh, Always Just in Time going up against Bop. Um, so that's Molestar and J-Drink, which I think is either a classmate or a workmate. I can't remember. But yeah, so that is going to be a super match as well. They're also bringing a bunch of Renathal... HL, whatever decks. So, and Molestar versus uh, Jewish, nice Jewish Owl, both warrior orientated class individuals. So, that should be quite, quite the, uh, the listen in. So, but uh, thanks everybody for, uh, for tuning in tonight. We will see you tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern to broadcast the duo semifinals and possibly the pro finals. So, Enjoy your evening. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, I think it's a happy turkey day coming up for the fellow Canadians that are listening as well. So enjoy your turkey. 
safe. See you tomorrow night. Take care.